Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina and we're getting ready to work on our Just Because Cards Cricut Card Series and today we are working on card number 6 which is the um, corny card on page 29 and the envelope we're doing with this is the envelope, um, the 6th envelope which is on page 69 and it does come with an envelope in the regular feature and the shift feature and for this card we're just do, doing um, the regular feature envelope so, so let's get started assembling our card First thing I'm going to do is, let me just get all these little papers out of the way and bring in a piece of scrap paper, is I'm going to assemble all of my little pieces that I cut out. And today's card is cut at 6 and 3 quarters, which is um, the fit to page feature using 12 by 12 uh, card stock. So I am just going ahead and lining up all my pieces and adhering those down. The... Um, yellow paper that I used for the, for this is from Basil and the green paper is from Paper Tray Ink. It's Ripe Avocado is the color. And my pattern paper for today I'm using um, the Farmers Market DCWV um, pattern paper pack and I've had it for a while. I used it in my last video. I had a lot of questions about where I got it and to be honest I have no clue. I do not remember where I got it. It's either from Michael's or uh, Joanne's, one of those two stores. I'm, I want to say it's Michael's, but like I said, I'm not 100% positive on that. So, Okay, so that's our cornstalk, and we're just going to take our words here. And Again, these are um, cut at 6 and 3 quarter. So, whoops. Things are sticking to my fingers. So I'm just going to add my C. and my N. And then once I'm done with that, we can go ahead and start putting our card together. There we go. Alright, so for the card, what I did was, this time I went ahead and I cut this on my pattern paper, my card, instead of using a pattern paper for the outside layer. I used a um, piece of solid card stock for that. So let me go ahead and adhere my solid card stock down. And I already went ahead and folded my card so that's all done already. What I like about the Farmer's Market Collection is it's like a craft color on the inside or the back side of the pattern paper so it makes it's perfect for when you're doing a card. You don't have to worry about the pattern on the inside. So and now I'm just going to take my cornstalk here and add some more two-way glue to this. And I'm going to put this right down the bottom coming at kind of an angle. Just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and adhere my phrase down here really really simple card this time so a nice short video on how to assemble this one if you um, have any questions about cutting and how to follow along in the manual check out my first video in this series on the basics of the cartridge I'm not going to be always showing how to, how I cut out piece by piece um, the elements to the card but if you just watch the um, basics video, it'll give you all the information you need on how I'm cutting and stuff, so. Okay, that's the card, so let's go ahead and do our envelope now. So I went ahead and already cut, pre-scored all of my lines. So I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this closed, and I'm just going to add some adhesive right down to the end flaps here. So that's it here down nice, and there's the envelope. I like this envelope. I really like the pattern of the, the flap on it. So, okay, that's our card for today. Thanks for watching another episode of Creations with Christina. See you next time. Bye.